now that we've got the gussets glued and screwed to the end pieces, we're now going to start working on the side pieces. Uh, we're going to have two rows of screws, one row vertical uh, to fasten the side piece uh, to the end piece, and another row horizontal to fasten the side piece to the gusset. Now I've taken a piece of scrap wood that was left over from the wood that we chopped the other day. It's uh, three and a half inches wide, the same width as the wood we have here on our side piece. Uh, and I've marked off three quarters of an inch from each end, three quarters of an inch from here to here, three quarters of an inch from here to here, and uh, one and three quarter inches uh, in the middle, uh, which is the, the width of our wood. Uh, we'll use uh, this small block of wood to locate the screw holes for fastening the side piece to the end piece. Uh, we got a couple of vias going through here, so we're going to we'll wait for them to go by. <laughs> That's a General Electric Genesis P42. It's got the 150 wrap on it. So uh, we take our side piece. We're looking at the outside uh, because the screw holes are to be drilled from the outside to the inside. And I place my small block of wood uh, on top of the side piece at the end, and I'm flush uh, with the edge, and I draw a line. Uh, I've now located where the end piece, the other end piece, is uh, going to be. There's the second via leaving the passing siding. Uh, so I take the uh, little block of wood, and I transfer the screw marks onto the side piece and I split the difference from the edge to the line that I've just finished drawing and I draw the lines. So uh, this is where uh, the location of the screws uh, holes to fasten the end piece to the side piece. I now flip my side piece on edge so that the top is down, I'm looking at the bottom here, and I take my measuring block that I used from before, bring my small piece of uh, wood that I just use for, for measuring screw holes, and just to make sure that I'm flush with the edge, and I draw a straight line. That line is horizontal. Uh, on top of my measuring block and I've now accounted for the thickness of the styrofoam. The styrofoam will be going from here to here. Uh, and I now take uh, one of the gussets that I have in my stash and I place it on top of the measuring block and I draw a line along the top of the gusset and down the side. So I've now located within this rectangle, I've located where the gusset is going to be fastened to my side piece. Now uh, from before you'll recall that I had uh, put screw marks uh, on my gussets, one at the three-quarter inch mark another one at the two and a quarter inch mark and another one at the three and three quarter inch mark so I transfer the location of those screw holes onto that rectangle that I've just created and again I split the difference between this line and this line that I've just drawn and we've now got screw holes uh, for the end piece to fasten the side piece to the end piece and screw holes to fasten 
the side piece to the gusset at this end. Uh, we now have to do the same thing at the other end. So I've located screw holes at the other end of my side piece. Now to locate the screw holes at this end. So again I take my small block of wood, place it on top of the side piece, flush with the end, and I draw a straight vertical line. I've now located the position of the end piece, that is where the end piece is going to be screwed into the side piece. So then I transfer the location of my screw holes from my small block of wood onto the side piece and I marked uh, the difference between the line that I've just drawn and the edge of the side piece. And uh, I've now located the screw holes for the end piece. Now I uh, flip the uh, side piece on edge so that I'm looking at the bottom. Uh, in other words, the, the top is down. And I'm also looking at the outside. So I place my block of wood uh, alongside. I take my small piece of wood, bring it in. And I draw a horizontal line. Then I take my gusset. Uh, we got a via. And I place it on top. Draw the horizontal line line on the end and I have uh, now located where the gusset is going to be fastened to the side piece. Uh, I transfer the location of my screw holes onto the rectangle that we've just made and I split the difference between this line and this line. And I've now located the position of the screw holes for both ends. We're going to install a middle cross member in the middle of our side piece. Uh, so we now have to locate the screw holes for fastening the middle cross member uh, to the side piece. And of course the middle cross member is going to be in the middle. The length of our side piece is 24 inches, 2 feet, so we mark the 2 foot mark. Uh, the middle cross member is going to be 1 half inches wide, so we measure out 3 quarters of an inch on each side of the 24 inch uh, uh, mark. Now you'll notice I'm doing this on the outside because our screws go from the outside to the inside. So now I put my side piece on edge. I'm looking at the bottom. I'm looking at the out. And now I'm going to draw a horizontal line between those two lines that I just, uh, two marks that I just finished making. I take my small block of wood and I put it on top and I draw another horizontal line. The small block of wood is the same thickness as the middle cross member. And so now I've got two of four, the four lines that I need to, to make a rectangle. So now I take my T-square, draw one line through the mark that we first made, draw another line, and there I have outlined my rectangle where the middle cross member is going to go. So I'm just going to roughly estimate about a half an inch in from this edge, from here to here, and about another half inch from this line here, from here to here. And I split the difference between this line and this line. So we've now located where um, the screw holes for the middle cross member are going to be. The other thing I want to do is to locate the middle cross member on the inside. Now I'm going to locate it, but I'm not going to mark the location of any of the screw holes. So I flip 
uh, the side piece end for end and uh, make sure that I'm looking at the bottom. In other words, the top is down. I'm looking at the inside. And again, I measure 24 inches in from the end. Uh, then three quarters of an inch on each side. And then I place the side piece on edge. I'm looking at the bottom. The top is down. I take my block of wood and I draw a horizontal line between those marks that I've just finished making. And I take my small block of wood, which is the same thickness as my middle cross member, and draw a line. So now I've got two of the four sides of the rectangle for my middle cross member located. I take my T-square, one vertical line, another vertical line and this is where the cross member is going to be located. Now why am I locating the position of the middle cross member on the inside? Well when the middle cross member is gooped up with glue and it's running down my fingers I don't want to be figuring out where that middle cross member has to go with this rectangle on the inside of the side piece I know exactly where I've got to put it. So let's recap. We have screw holes at this end. We have screw holes in the middle for the middle cross member. And we have screw holes at the other end. Uh, so that's one piece done. 19 more pieces to go. So we've uh, finished locating uh, where our screw holes are going to be on all of our 20 side pieces and we're now going to locate where we're going to install some telephone jacks. Now each module will have one telephone jack. Let's wait until the vehicle is Okay. <laughs> Gotta love those videos. Each module is going to have one telephone jack and we're going to alternate the telephone jacks from one side to the other. So uh, let's use these blocks of wood as an example, okay? Module number one, module number two, module number three, and module number four, okay? Now, we're going to alternate the telephone jacks from one side to the other, so that means in module number one, the telephone jack is going to be on the left side. Module number two, the telephone jack is going to be on the right side. Module number three, the telephone jack is going to be on the left side. And module number four, the telephone jack is going to be on the right side. Okay? Now, the, uh, the telephone jack is going to be in the middle of the side piece but far away from the middle cross member so that the the jack doesn't interfere with uh, with the middle cross member okay now if we measure the telephone jack there's two parts of the telephone jack there's the face plate we've cut that away we'll show you how to do that in, in another edition and then there's the business end of the of the telephone jack so if we measure telephone jack we see that it is one and three quarters inches long including the lugs that hold the the jack itself onto the face plate and one and three eighths inches uh, wide okay so we've got those are the dimensions that we're dealing with so we want to be two inches away from the middle okay so that's 24 inches our side piece is four feet long 24 inches two inches is 26 inches so that's going to be the start of our hole so the telephone jack is two and three quarter inches long so 26 plus two and three quarters is 28 and three quarters so that's going to be the other end of our hole okay so let's uh, mark that off with our t-square Okay, half of the dimensions are, are outlined here, okay? Now, 
we want the telephone jack to be in the middle of our three and a half inch width of our board. So that is um, one and three quarters of an inch. One and three quarters of an inch. And that is the middle of our side piece. Okay. Now, the width of the telephone jack is, as we said before, one and three eighths inches. So uh, half of three eighths is three sixteenth. Half of one inch is eight sixteenth. Eight sixteenth plus three sixteenth. That's eleven sixteenths. So we're going to mark off eleven sixteenths. Three quarters less than sixteenth. Uh, three quarters less than sixteenth. So that's eleven sixteenths on each side of that center line. So three quarters less than sixteenth, and three quarters less than sixteenth. Okay, and if we draw lines, and we have now located where we have to cut out the hole between this line, this line, this line, and this line. Now we don't need to be accurate uh, with these measurements. If we're a bit under, we can always file away some of the wood. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole in each corner, probably use a quarter inch drill bit, uh, so that we can use our jigsaw to cut uh, around uh, the rectangle and cut out the block of wood and our telephone jack is going to sit in this hole. Now, we're only going to do this for 10 side pieces. Remember, we only have uh, one telephone jack on each module. We're building 10 modules, so we only have to mark out 10 side pieces. So now that we've got the screw holes located, it's time to drill some holes and cut out some wood for the telephone jacks. But I've got a glass of scotch on the rocks waiting for me inside, so that uh, is going to be for the next episode of our module construction.